Hello everyone, this is Louise from Gypsy Rose Divination. Welcome to this Yuletide meditation. We are going to take a journey, a walk around a picturesque village. We will visit the church. We will walk through the woods and finally we will relax in a cosy cabin free from the distractions of the outside world. Christmas can be a very stressful or difficult time for some people. You may celebrate Christmas, you may not, you may call it different names, it doesn't matter. It can be difficult if we have lost loved ones and particularly losing loved ones at this time of year. Some people may not have their friends and family around them. Some people may feel alone. We are never alone though. So join with me on this journey to the cabin. Begin by finding yourself somewhere comfortable to relax, either sitting or lying down. Close your eyes. Take a nice big deep breath and sigh it all the way out. On the in breath you are taking in positive new energy. On the out breath you are releasing all that doesn't serve you at this particular moment in time. Do this a few times. You find yourself walking through the park in a local village. It is a bright, sunny, cold day. Snow has been falling overnight and you are glad that you are wrapped up warm with your coat, scarf, hat and gloves. Children are throwing snowballs at each other and laughing. This cheers you greatly. A man throws a stick and his dog excitedly retrieves it from behind the bush. You smile to yourself. A young couple say hello to you. Their arms are entwined. You sense their love for each other. It is a nice warm feeling. In the distance you hear the church bells ringing. You open the gate that leads into the village centre and proceed to walk in the direction of the church. It is a very picturesque scene. Shops are decorated with their wares ready for Christmas which is approaching fast. You smell the aroma of coffee in the air from a local cafe. It is comforting to you. You reach the village square with its tall Christmas tree. People are admiring the fairy lights twinkling and glowing. Carol singers stand by the tree. You stop for a while to listen to them. You continue on to the village church.
you open the creaky gate. You can hear the choir singing inside the church. You know their voices will be uplifting the congregation. You look around at the gravestones. Some are partially covered in snow. You walk to the edge of the graveyard. There is a magnificent yew tree there. Next to it is a particular gravestone that you find interesting. You are not afraid but curious if this could be one of your ancestors. You notice a gate that you've not seen before behind the yew tree. You open it gently and close it behind you. A path opens up through the woods. You are pleased as you enjoy being in nature and set off upon this new path with anticipation and intrigue as to where it will lead you. The path winds through the edge of the wood, gently curving around the perimeter of the village. The woods are quiet today. The animals are taking shelter from the weather. You notice a robin sitting on a fence in the near distance. He is the only creature around and in stark contrast to the other parts of the wood. He appears to beckon you to follow him. You finally reach the fence where he was sitting. He has flown away. You look at the landscape over the fence. There is a field which usually would be a meadow with spring and summer flowers, but today is bare because of the winter. Ahead is a cabin with smoke coming from the chimney above. The fence is small enough to climb over with ease and you make your way to the small but intriguing cabin. You reach your destination and knock gently on the door. The door opens by itself but nobody is there. You peer inside and are greeted by a very comforting scene. There are two armchairs with cosy looking blankets and cushions and a very inviting log fire blazing. This makes your nose tickle and run after being out in the cold. You rub your hands together to feel the warmth. You close the door to the outside world and think to yourself that nobody will notice surely if you sit in the armchair for a while to get warm and to relax. You sit down and make yourself comfortable with a blanket covering your knees. After a while you start to feel a bit more drowsy and more relaxed. You sense that you are not alone and a presence has joined you sitting in the chair next to you.
You feel comfortable though in their company and drift deeper and deeper into relaxation. Deeper and deeper, forgetting about the worries of the day and the outside world. Your friend has joined you today to be with you. They may be a guide from your spirit team, an angel or a loved one that has passed. They tell you gently that you are not alone. You are never alone. Even though the world outside may be frantic at this time of year, you can just be yourself here in the quiet and the warmth and the comfort of this safe haven. I'm going to leave you now for a few moments to talk with your friend, if you wish, or to just enjoy the peace and quiet. You find yourself stirring from this comfortable state and become aware again of the crackling of the log fire. Your spirit friend has disappeared but you know that you can talk to them anytime you want and return to this warm, safe haven. You realise that it is nearly time to be back present in the real world. I'm going to count from 1 to 10. When I reach 10, you'll be wide awake and back in the room. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10.